He has two saves on the season, which ties Noisy for the team lead. Noisy making that great play in the bottom of the seventh. Got a shot over his head, leapt up and got it. Renee Martinez, the starting catcher from last night, is now in catching for. And that one's going to be through for a base hit. Yeah, Max Carter singles sharply to left field to open the bottom of the eighth inning. I mean, you think that they're going to be able to handle, come back and hit, and they've shown that. Well, that's one thing Mac Luso said is that they've been, he's been real pleased with their offense. Right. You know, they've, they've hung in there offensively. They've, uh, especially the beginning, the top part of the batting order. And you know people like, you know, Gus was going to hit. I mean, he's, he had a two-run single. He's at bat now. He's, you know, under 200 for the season, but he's a much better hitter than that. You know, once, uh, they, once they get into conference play, he should build that average back up right. a little bit. Ground out and a strike on the cusp, but then, then the, the two-run single. Sidearm back to the pitcher, right back for a double play. Impressive. A 1-6-3 DP. Second consecutive inning that the Roadrunners have grounded into a double play. Right back at the pitcher. And that brings up Ryan Gojon with already two out here in the bottom of the eighth. <coughs> 6-3 Oklahoma here, and uh, the Roadrunners are down to their final four outs. They're going to have to. We're only 90 seconds into this inning. Down low, ball one. The pitch is away. On the fist, fouls it back. Something got hit. There was a thud. It was a thud, but there's no car there. It was, Could have uh, been the ticket booth. And this one going to be hit to center field or left field, and the fielders there make the out. So that ends it. That was quick, Jeff. Yeah, very quick inning. 